Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is something a little different, but I thought it would be really fun to do um, and show you guys. So I'm going to do the what is in my bag challenge. I've seen a couple different channels doing this already. This is old. This is not like a new thing, um, but I figured it would be fun to do it and show you guys what I do carry around my purse. Um, so yeah, so if you want to see what I keep in my bag, then keep on watching. Okay, so this is my handbag that I carry pretty much every single day, everywhere I go. This is the Reversible Liz Shopper um, in black by MCM. Um, I love this bag so much. I love MCM. Um, and it's just a really, really nice bag. It's an investment, but it's a really, really nice bag. Um, so this is like a pretty big tote bag. This is in size medium, though. Um, so I was contemplating in large and then I saw it in person. I was like, absolutely not. Medium is the perfect size because I don't even really carry that much stuff around in it. Um, besides when I'm like going to work because it is such a big tote bag. I just throw like everything for work in here then. But this is like what I carry every day normally um, when I'm just going anywhere else besides work. Um, and it's like a pretty good size. I can fit a change of clothes in here. I can fit a pair of shoes. I can fit um, a bag of makeup along with everything I have in here already. So if I'm going like to a photo shoot after work or um, I am going to an event after work and I need to bring a change of clothes along with me, this fits everything perfectly. This is the bag that does come along with this bag, this insert is like included it's really nice it's the same pattern on the inside as like this bag is um i don't normally keep this i used to keep this in this bag as well but i don't normally keep this in here anymore i have other little insert bags in here but um i normally will take this out with me when i go somewhere like you know out to bars and stuff like that this will be one of the bags that i'll take along with me so the first item in my bag is my wallet a essential um this is also an mcm wallet along with the bag so they do match i got this pattern because i figured it was like the closest to this without being this exact same pattern i got a great deal on this i actually got this in the soho um, mcm store and they were really really nice in there really great um this was on sale so like i said i got a great deal i think i saved like 80 or 90 dollars from what the normal price would be this was also a big step for me was doing like the flap open um instead of like a zip so yeah because i normally have a change pouch in here now i just keep all um cash and card on me because there's no change purse in this so but I still really, really like this wallet and I do like that it opens now. I like that more than I thought I was ever gonna like it. So if you are looking for a new wallet, head on over to MCM. You might find something that you really like. And then after that, um, we'll do just like the random guys. So like, um, I have a pack of gum, I have my birth control, and I have a um, pack of all natural cold medicine because you never know. <laughs> no, but seriously, like I had that pack in here the whole winter and every time I kind of felt like I was getting sick, I would just take one and I'm like, they're all natural, so it's fine, right? But like, probably wasn't, but I do keep cold medicine in my purse at all times. Um, other than that, let's see the other things floating around. Okay, so we have a random later. It is very pretty though, it's a butterfly. Um, so you never know when you're gonna need a lighter or somebody else is gonna need a lighter. So you always keep one in your purse. I have a body to a jewel, so a jewel battery because life's been stressful and we have no pods, but we have the battery. And then I have a bottle of the doTERRA On Guard um, Sanitizing Mist. This is what I coat my entire body in when I come out of any store or I touch anything, I could, like spray this everywhere. This is an essential oil blend to kill bacteria. Um, I am pretty into the essential oils and I definitely think that this works. There's research behind the On Guard blend that it actually does kill bacteria faster and longer than a lot of other um, like disinfectants like Lysol. So I definitely check out doTERRA and research this a little bit more if the, if the all natural route is something that you're kind of into. Highly recommend the hand sanitizing mist. I have a bottle of that in my car as well. And then I do have my little bag, um, this little Chanel bag that my aunt got me 
for Christmas. So in here is where I keep all of the goodies. Let me move this guy out of the way. Okay, so in this little bag is what I keep all my essentials in pretty much. So I have a mirror, obviously. This is a cool mirror when I normally have it charged. It um, lights up and then it also charges your battery, your phone battery. So this is the Halo mirror. My mom got me this one Christmas. It does really work. Um, I just haven't charged it in a while. So there's that. I have some cinnamon uh, tasting scented infused uh, toothpicks. <laughs> so you know like when you're out to eat, you need a toothpick, your breath starting to start like, you know, kicking. Scented toothpicks. So I don't know where my mother finds them, but you know, Google it, you'll find it. Um, we got some chapstick. So I actually have two of the three chapsticks from my um, s'mores chapstick bundle. And we have the graham cracker and the milk chocolate chapsticks, both in here. We're now, from now on, only gonna have the milk chocolate in here, the graham crackers staying home, but good to know that's where that got to. Um, I have a little uh, freaking Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Now I saw a really funny meme about these that it was like, these are made up of like 20% alcohol, 80% glitter. That's so true. But desperate times do call for desperate measures. So I am gonna be using this still because we are in a pandemic and anything helps, but normally don't recommend that. Um, I got some tampons in here. So the Cora brand is the one that I normally use when I do get my period. Um, my birth control's a little weird, so I don't always get a period, but when I do, I feel like I might as well have some tampons in here or help some other girls out, you know? Um, but these are the Cora organic tampons. I really like them. You can find them at Target. And um, I don't know if they have them at CVS too. I know they have them at Target for sure. But they're really great because they're like free of everything that a lot of the other companies do put in their tampons that can really mess with your body. So those are 100% organic. Um, I really like them. And again, they're called Cora for anybody that is looking to get some new tampons. I have my little um, Fenty Beauty blotting papers in here. So they're, I don't know if you guys remember this from like when I originally reviewed this collection. Um, it's really cute. It comes with this little mirror on the side. It opens up and then you can like pull the blotting paper out. It's really good blotting paper um, for anybody who's looking for something like this. I think this is super like nice. I like that it's in this little like plastic container compared to like they're just being a random um, little cardboard thing where you can just like pull the papers out of that. I feel like it would get dirty and messy and just like the papers could get ruined easier. This is really nice. I've had this for years. I use it often. So I do really recommend that um, as a new essential to your purse. Um, oh my God, this is where all of my hair ties got to. Oh my gosh. Well, this is exciting for me because I now have four hair ties. I'm going to keep two in my purse, um, but these are the Invisibobble. I actually have one in right now. This is a brown one that I have in. Um, I normally do like the black ones, but I thought all my black ones were missing. So the reason that I really like these is because they have this kind of like quirky, screwy um, look to them, I would say. And the reason that that is really nice is because it's easier to put your hair back, fluff it up because the way that like these little ringlets kind of sit in your hair. Um, you also don't worry about pulling as much hair out if you just like pull this out because regular hair ties, you can get like your natural hair wrapped around them a lot with this because of the coils, like it just kind of like falls out without pulling out your hair. So I really, really like these. I think they come in like packs of four. You can get them at Ulta, uh, Sephora, so many different places. I like the brand Invisibobble. There are other companies that make them, but I think the Invisibobble was like the one like the starter so that's what all of those that I use are and I highly recommend them so those are the only hair ties that I carry around in my purse I'm not somebody who 
uses really any other hair ties than that. Um, I have a couple other like random cold pills and my migraine medication in my purse. Um, I do keep a fragrance with me and my fragrance that I love to keep in my purse is the Nest White Sandalwood fragrance. I am obsessed. Every time I put this on, somebody compliments me. Um, I'm almost out of it. I'm almost out of it. You see that? Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to get a real bottle of this because I've had this for maybe three or four years. My grandma got me like a whole set for one Christmas and this one I just fell in love with more than the other ones. It smells so, so good. If you like sandalwood, you will love this. Um, so that is the fragrance that I keep in my purse. I also have a bottle of the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I bought this at DragCon when my eyelash was falling off because it had rained and I was like freaking out. So so I had to get a thing of, um, of lash glue. Normally I use the Ardell one, but this is the one that I have in my purse because I'm like, screw it. I'm not going to not use it. It's like practically new. Um, so I have an eyelash glue in my purse, which I highly recommend anybody that wears a lot of strip lashes out to keep a lash glue with them because you know how much it sucks when your lashes start falling off and you're out in public and you can't do anything about it. So highly recommend everybody who wears strip lashes carries a glue with them in their bag along with a pair of tweezers. So these are my tweezers that are pretty much only good for putting on strip lashes anymore. They're so like um, bent out now that they're, that they can't get as tight of a grip to like pull out eyebrow hairs at all. Um, so I don't use this for plucking. I only use this for lash application. So I have that guy in here too. This is one of my favorites and that is the Sorella, um, avocado lip oil. I keep this in my purse along with a chapstick because they're two completely different things. This chapstick's really good if I just want to like quickly throw in a little bit, but if my lips are hurting and they're dry or I'm not wearing any other makeup and I'm out and I just want to throw on something, this is the way to go. They also recently come out with a tinted version. I have it handy. Um, so they now make it in the regular avocado lip oil and the avocado lip oil with a tint. This is shade Remy right here. Um, I keep that handy because I use this stuff all the time. So I love it. I keep a bottle of it in my purse because you never know when you may need to put some lip product on. Normally, um, as summer starts, I will keep a pair of glasses in here as well. I normally am wearing my prescription glasses, um, but I do have a pair of Ray-Bans that I normally keep in here. They're in my car every other time. Um, but then when I am going out more in the summer, I do throw them in my purse. And that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this what is in my bag challenge. I thought this would be a fun video to kind of mix it up and show you guys what I carry around in my bag at all times. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up down below. Do not forget to also hit that subscribe button while you're down there. And if you really like these videos and you want to know every time that I upload, you can hit that little alarm button down there and that will give you an alert every time I upload a new video. That is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.